welcome to Trans Series, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm your host Jason, and today there has been more news about third party companies making toys. Now, this is not the most up to date one, this has been actually around for a while, but I think I should cover it just how cool it is. So, what we're going to be covering is the Black Apple Barricade. So, looking at its promo picture, we can see his vehicle mode and his robot mode, and this thing looks amazing, way better than the original one that we got in Transformers the last night. Just look at the amount of detail. Yes, it does look like they did reuse a few pieces from that mold, but I think it was for the better. In this picture, I believe he also comes with his taser, and the whole chest piece by itself is just 10 times better. Now let's go move on to a back shot, and here we go. Now this back piece looks 10 times better than the original one, because the original one was just so freaking bulky, and this one is just better. It blasts the old one out of the park. We can see how he has those light bars going down, which he had in the movie, unlike the original one, which just stayed in place. And overall, he's all compact, which is really cool. Let's go take a look at his kit. So in his kit, we can see his taser, his baton, his pistol, and his machine gun. And I believe the machine gun and the pistol were reused, same as the uh, baton, but I'm not 100% sure, because they do look slightly different, because I know the handgun had like a little tab, so maybe you'll be able to push it down. Now let's go take a peek with him side by side with the original. Now this is the best image I could find. I know it's a bit blurry, but the other one was a full screen one, but it's like super blurry. So you have to have the black bars here. So you can already see the size difference. Yes, this barricade from the Black Apple is just a tad bit bigger, but it's going to work out overall off the scale because we can see if the original barricade, how we had that light thing right there and his whole chest piece did not look as good as this one. This one, I still got to say the Black Apple is going to bust this barricade out of the Park. Next, let's go look at them in vehicle mode side by side. And here we go. In vehicle mode, this thing looks amazing. Yes, I do have to point one thing out, the tab lines. Well, it is a prototype, so I do not think it's fully transformed correctly. So I don't think it's going to look like this, because if someone sold like that, I don't think no one would buy it. Well, maybe some would buy it just for the robot mode, but for playability, it would not look that good. But we can see how movie accurate the Black Apple one is compared to the last night. Yes, the last night looked alright, but the Black Apple one has the spoiler and all those more muscles car look details. Lastly, let's go look at the back of the cars, and here we see even more detail on the back of this Black Apple Barricade, and oh my god, just imagine this thing painted with the police and everything, this thing is going to look extraordinary. And compared to the original, we could see the back piece, it just looked like a regular police car when Barricade was like an upgraded one, and this one captures his look in the film. Well, that's all for this piece of news. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Trans Theories. If you have a piece of news you want me to cover or a theory, please give a comment down below and I'll do a review on it as soon as possible. This has been Trans Theories, signing off. What do you call a